Uh, we are at the University of Colorado, Colorado Springs Alpine Garage and Field, which is a four-story parking garage with a uh, rec sports playing field on the top. Well, we, uh, as part of our master plan here at the university, we decided that we needed to resolve several issues at the same time. One was our parking problem and the other one was a lack of uh, recreational space for our students. So we came up with the idea of building this parking garage in this location with a uh, sports field, recreational sports field on top. The main campus is south of us uh, and at a higher elevation and then we have 51 homes nestled in uh, between sports fields really. Uh, there are sports fields to the uh, west and north of us as well as to the south. Well of course we need to be able to use this field at night so it's lit um, and we were aiming for a certain uh, level of uh, foot candles on the field for recreational use and we met the, that criteria but because of the difference in elevation between the field and the surrounding neighborhood uh, we are actually quite high up relative to those neighbors and while we are able to control foot candles spillover in the surrounding area the actual glare from the fixtures was pretty dramatic in the neighborhoods. There's 90 foot poles on each corner four of them with uh, light arrays and uh, as soon as they turned them on which was the summer of 2014 all the neighbors that were in the valley at the lower elevation were just lit up to the point they could almost read a newspaper in their in their house at night with no lights on. The lights were in uh, for a very short period of time as soon as um, the field was occupied uh, we began hearing from the neighbors within a week or so of, of the lights being turned on about the glare problems. I live very close, just right down the hill and up a little bit. We have a nice house. It was nice and dark and secluded. They ended up finding a contractor, put up the lights that were here before, and it was horrible, to say the least. My front room, you could sit there, bright lights coming in. Even my garden out to the side. You get out there and it's like you almost don't need a light at night to see the plants because there was plenty of light. When the lights went up it was really kind of ridiculous how blaring they were into our house. The, the light would just stream in and um, we have blinds but we basically had to keep them shut all the time because um, you couldn't look out the window. It, it was blinding. Um, and then the boys share a bedroom in the basement and the lights would go under the deck and through their shades um, and they they had a hard time sleeping. Yes, I mean everybody was affected and it we realized how much money the university had spent to to put that field in and it was you know with a great deal of trepidation that we were asking them to turn those lights off or use them to the minimum and you know we, re we knew that really wasn't a long-term solution, but uh, it, was a, it was a problem. We went through an extensive process with uh, the original uh, lighting designer and uh, light, lighting supplier uh, to try to either uh, re-aim uh, or re-shield um, the existing fixtures, but we were unable to come to a satisfactory conclusion with that. Well, when the neighbors brought this uh, issue to our attention, and our university has always been wanting to be a good neighbor and a good partner in the community, uh, we started to investigate how we could make corrections with the fixtures that were uh, on the facility at the time. And it became apparent that uh, that type of technology was not going to be able to solve the issue contacted the uh, electrical engineer for the project who had been involved in the, the previous process to rectify the situation and um, we talked to him about going to talk to Musco. We were very pleased with Musco's response. Um, the representative was down here within several days. Uh, we explained the problem. Uh, some measurements were taken immediately. Uh, they engineered a solution. Uh, we went through several iterations on how we wanted to resolve the, the issue and finally settled on doing all four poles which are in the four corners of the field uh, using Musco's LED technology. And that was the start of both the university and the community 
having a very win-win situation, whereas the difference is immense. Uh, very, very happy with the solution they came up with when they indicated that they'd done a light study. There was a contractor, Musco, that had put lights in a, a soccer field uh, below my house, which we had very good results with. This is where Musco really responded. They had uh, fixtures on the shelf. They were able to engineer a solution within uh, several weeks um, and get the whole uh, assembly in production and we were able to meet our goals of getting everything online shortly after school opened. It's a totally integrated uh, kind of a solution. Uh, immediately we heard from the neighbors, uh, I think the next or the night we fired them up, that uh, the lighting, it was much, much better. And we got a very nice letter from the president of the HOA uh, citing that uh, they were very pleased that we had moved forward to, to solve this problem and the results are absolutely phenomenal. I mean, I had neighbors calling uh, that same night that said they couldn't believe the difference. Anyone in the city that goes by there has got to have noticed the difference. With your new invention and new lights, I mean, this is really a blessing to us. It's, it's made it so that I don't have to have this tension with the university anymore. When they actually did turn them on, I, I was totally shocked. I didn't think it was possible for them to provide adequate lighting for the field while maintaining darkness in the neighborhood. Um, I just thought whoever invented these things needs a medal or something, or <laughs> at least a hug. <laughs> uh, the lights provided uh, approximately equal lighting levels on the field, but improved the evenness, the evenness of the light across the field, uh, which is important for a moving ball in play at night. So it's, uh, we're very pleased with it. And so now on this, this uh, issue, there's real peace and there's real contentment, I think, on both sides. It's, it's definitely something worth doing for the quality of life of the rest of the people in the neighborhood. I'm sure it's even affected the students here. Um, so I think, yeah, definitely it's enormous. I think the impact is enormous. It's, I mean, it seems like it wouldn't be, but if you're the person who's uh, under those lights all the time, it's not, it's not pleasant. You know, we had night turned into day and, and uh, so we had our night back again.